All right, guys, today I'm going to show you the basis for just about controlling everything in the real world on a conditional basis. So we're going to start out with a breadboard. I'm going to use a Nano. And I just have 5 volts in ground going to the ground rail. What we're going to use for our trigger today is this little guy here. If you can see that is a tilt switch. It's got a little tiny blob of mercury in there. Alright, so we're going to stick it right here. And it gets uh, 5 volts and ground. So there's ground. And a little tricky to mess with here. There's five volts. And its signal we are going to put into digital pin five. Now when the tilt switch goes off we're going to have it activate both a buzzer. Now this is an active buzzer which means all you need to do is give it 5 volts and it will go off. So it gets negative 5 volts and the signal we're going to put into digital 3 and finally we're going to have a LED light up remember the long leg is the positive And it's going to go to digital 2. Nice. Uh, 220 ohm resistor is going to ground. So we don't overcurrent our little LED. Now there is the entire circuit. So what will happen is, if somebody bumps this and disturbs it, the buzzer will buzz and the LED will light. Now let's go write the code for it. Alright, here is our code and this is probably one of the simplest programs we've written yet. But it is the basis for just about everything when you're interacting with items in the physical world. So we're going to turn our buzzer and our light pins to output. We're going to turn our tilt switch pin to input. And that's it for setup. Now down here for the loop, we're going to declare an integer called alarm and do a digital read on pin 5. Now since this is a digital read outputting a digital signal, if it is an open, it will output a zero. If it is closed, it will output a one. So, if the switch is closed, the alarm is off, alarm equals one. We use the double equal sign, that means equal. A single equal sign means a sign of value. We don't want to do that. So then we're going to digital write two high, digital write three high, that turns our buzzer and our light on, delay for 1000, we turn them on for a second, we turn them off for a second, repeat. There's the whole code, so you can copy it if you like, and let's take a look at what we got. Alright, we're all powered up, and let's tilt it. See the light 
goes on for a second, the buzzer beeps for a second. Now you can change either or both of these to fit your needs. You can change your trigger from a tilt switch to a light sensor, to a sound sensor, to just about anything you want. The same with the outputs. You can change the buzzer to a relay. It's that simple. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what the heck are you waiting for?